Okay guys, what's going on now? I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to cover what's new in Blocks 1.5.1 and Blocks 1.5.2. Um, so Blocks 1.5.2 adds, adds the new uh, edition of full screen mode. So this works very simply by, so what we'll do is open up Safari. We'll make that full screen and then swipe back, double tap. We can then drag this window with Safari to make it full screen. Now we've got Blocks and Safari here. Can we make them any... That's as small as you can actually make blocks, but as you can see, blocks works really well with the new split screen feature in Al Capitan. The next new feature is actually carousels. So what I'm going to do is enter a carousel here, and if you click on the carousel, you can add the shadows, nope, or yes. Uh, this is basically, as you saw in my last video, you'll know that I actually did a thing which fixed this in the code, but there you go, this toggles the code on and off for you. Another quick feature new in this update. The next new feature actually involves light boxes. So what we're going to do is going to add a block post, a blog post. Um, going to go on the photo here, type light box, and then as you can see, we get a we get a little thing here. So we get a little frame here. So a little frame thing. So we're going to keep it on default for now. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the browser, and you can see we get this nice toggle effect here uh, when we toggle over the image. It looks really cool. Uh, basically, lets you know it's a light box in a way, and then that's the default look if you like. Uh, let's test out another one. So uh, we can change it to frameless. Let's have a look at frameless. Oh, well, that's exactly just a little bit of a shadow on the picture. Very, very nice. Let's have a look at the next one. Dark. Uh, this looks good. Um, here you go. Oh, nice big black. That's quite nice. And you can, of course, you have the text below as well. Uh, and the final one, which is snapshot. So let's see what this one is. All very nice, but yeah, like almost like a photo. So you've got a little bit of increased white space at the bottom. Very nice as well. Next new feature is you also get an open recent file. So here, as you can see, I've got a few here. You can clear the menu. I think the blocks have been lacking, but it's finally here, and that's uh, very, very cool as well. Uh, the final feature is actually to do with color. So I'm going to open up the color window here, open up the swatches panel, and we get this new dropper thing and it's a pixel uh, dropper new into our Capitan and you can see you literally can go down to the nearest pixel in everything to get that perfect pixel uh, something that I the blocks was I think lacking before uh, but now anyway that's our Capitan uh, really really good you can see any single color on the page here any of the colors you can get them from down here so you can even get the red that dark red there of, of, of the Safari arrow horrible color but just to show you, demonstrate there. And that's all that is new in uh, Blocks 1.5.1 and Blocks 1.5.2. If you have any other queries, leave them in the, the comment section below. Subscribe if you're not already. Give the video a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.